Hi everyone, welcome to Essie Cooks and welcome to episode 12 of Delicious Filling Salads. In this one, we are going to be making a kale Caesar pasta salad. Basically, this is just one of my favorite recipes for a vegan, dairy-free kale Caesar salad and just added some cooked pasta noodles into it, which made it so good. So I forgot to mention I am cooking half a box of rotini noodles just to get this started, and I'm gonna work on my dressing while the pasta is cooking. So, so I've got one tablespoon of capers that I am mincing up really finely almost into a paste. This is gonna add that sort of anchovy flavor into our vegan Caesar dressing, which is super healthy and super delicious. We're gonna use a quarter cup of tahini that's gonna make it super creamy and delicious without any dairy, and it's super healthy for you as well. Then I'm going to add two to three tablespoons of fresh lemon juice. If you don't have fresh, you can just use the bottled. And I've got one to two large cloves of garlic. Caesar dressing is usually pretty garlicky, so just adjust this to your taste. That was a huge clove of garlic and it ended up tasting super delicious in here. Then we're going to add half a teaspoon of Dijon mustard. Now I'm making a double batch here in the video, but this is just the ingredients for a single batch. Then I am going to add one teaspoon of the brine from the pickled capers. Again, that's going to give it that anchovy flavor, and then we're going to add salt and pepper to taste. So make sure you're tasting it. Again, Caesar dressing can be quite salty, so don't be shy on the salt. That's what's going to give it that really good flavor. Now, we need a little water to adjust the consistency. I would say start with one tablespoon at a time, mix it up, and see how thick it is, because this is really dependent on your tahini. If your tahini is thick, your dressing is going to come out really thick. So just keep working at it until you get the consistency that you want. That is too thick for me but you could enjoy it like that if you want. I'm gonna add a little bit more water to it and just thin it out a little bit more, get it to a little bit of a thinner consistency. Also, it's just noteworthy that this does thicken up in the fridge, so if you're making it ahead of time, just keep that in mind. It will thicken in the fridge, but you can always put it in there, add a little bit of water, mix it up, and good to go. Now, I actually felt like blending this up just to give it an even creamier texture, so I just used my immersion blender to just sort of whip all of those ingredients together, but that is optional. And look at that beautiful, delicious vegan Caesar dressing. Now, for the chickpeas, I've got one can of rinse and drain chickpeas and a tablespoon of olive oil in a pan. I'm gonna add one tablespoon of Italian seasoning. I'm gonna add one to two teaspoons of garlic powder. And I'm just going to cook that until they are nice and crispy in the pan on medium heat. Now you can add a little bit of smoked paprika or hot chili powder, which I actually ended up doing as well, just to give it a really nice flavor. Kind of just, yeah, that smoky flavor is so good. So if you like that, add a little smoked paprika. If you like a little spice, add a little bit of hot chili powder, cayenne powder to it. Add some salt and pepper to that as well, just to make it extra delicious. And this should take about five to eight minutes. Um, you can roast the chickpeas in the oven too, if you want. It does take 20 minutes, but it's a little bit more hands off. Now for the kale, we need one bunch of kale, one large bunch of kale. We're going to chop it up and then I'm going to add it to a large mixing bowl. Normally I would massage this with a little bit of olive oil or a little bit of lemon juice. I didn't do it this time and I would not recommend. Always massage it because it just tastes better when you massage it. It makes it more palatable. It just sort of softens it up a little bit. Now I've got my cooked pasta noodles. I ran those under cold water once they were cooked al dente just to make sure that I stopped the cooking process, which is great for a pasta salad. Not something I normally do, but since we're eating it cold and it's in a pasta salad, keeps the noodles nice and fresh we don't want them to get mushy we don't want them to like cook the kale almost or the chickpeas it just wouldn't be right <laughs> so now i'm gonna add all of the dressing on and then i'm gonna add the chickpeas on and i'm gonna toss it to combine i ended up making this for meal prep as well if you are meal prepping make sure you leave those chickpeas on top just to keep them a little bit fresh make sure that they don't get mushy and this was such a great meal prep thank you so so much for watching this video if you liked this video and you want to see more like this make sure you hit that like and subscribe button below